new technology is allowing us to approach learning in completely new ways. And one of the advancements you'll see is mixed reality in the classroom. It promises to help students dive deeper into every subject in a more engaging and immersive way. With more on how this technology works, how it's going to change our learning, Dwayne Matthews is joining us. He's an education strategist. Great to have you back in studio. You Thank and I you DM all the time, much. so Thank I'm you happy very, to see you. Thank you very much for, for having me, Amory. Okay, what is mixed reality? So mixed reality is really an umbrella term. You have virtual reality where you're wearing a headset and you're completely submerged into an environment. And then you have augmented reality where there are digital images and videos that are overlaid in reality itself. Mixed reality is the combination of those. Okay, how is it being used in a regular classroom? So do you remember when you're in school and you'd say, how am I gonna use that in the real world? Yes. Well, mixed reality allows you to use things like math, uh, things like science, all in the real world, looking at problems and solving those problems almost in a gamified environment. Ooh, I like the sound of that. You have firsthand experience with mixed reality in education. You used it with your son during the pandemic, and I remember you posting some of this. What was that experience like for both of you, for you and him? So this was a fantastic experience. He used the headset. I looked at it through augmented reality, and we were able to connect with students in Calgary, students in the Caribbean, to work on different projects. We worked on the NASA Curiosity rover, it was a very, very exciting time. It's one of my most memorable experiences, and according to him, one of his as well. What are the benefits of using mixed reality in a classroom? What do you see? So one of the big things is increased academic performance, increased engagement. Of course, yeah. Students are, are much more engaged, r less distraction. So there are no tabs open, there's nothing. You're completely immersed in an environment, and the reintroduction of soft skills during the pandemic, a lot of adults and kids lost a lot of the soft skills and being able to train those and go over those scenarios, you can really, really dig down into that in mixed reality. Can I bring up the flip side of this, which is teaching? Because what the pandemic showed us is kids are already engaged in this digital world and ready to use it. But teaching and, and the modules and the way that we have our education system set up now isn't always up to speed. No, no. And I think what you're going to find this year is at the beginning, you found a lot of ed tech companies going out on their own. You're going to find a lot of ed tech companies working directly with educators to design and shape how these experiences happen. And I'm very excited about that. Yeah, we're just the beginning of mixed reality in education. What do you think the future is going to look like for students? Gosh, one of the things that I'm so excited about, Anne-Marie, is the Apple Vision Pro, spatial computing where you now have an, an unlimited amount of space, you have an unlimited amount of access, it's mixed with multimodal artificial intelligence, which allows you to- Those are a lot of words yeah, that I don't which, understand, Dwayne. What does it, that it, mean? It allows, it means that the AI can see and hear, interact with the internet, you can create avatars and design that avatar yourself to engage with students. Very, very exciting stuff. You mentioned something that I think is so important, and that is engagement, because we find there's a real issue with that. You know, either kids are on their phones uh, in the classroom, or they're just not plugged in. And this way, they're literally going to be plugged in, but also the distraction piece. There's no phone because everybody's in the same environment. Well, and you, you can create so many things to personalize that learning experience for each individual student, which is something that's very difficult to do in the classroom if there's a teacher at the front talking to 30 different students. You can really personalize that experience and have students go through a, a personal map or journey very much like a game. You know, sometimes future conversations or conversations about the future scare you a little bit, but yours always excite me. Thanks for coming in, Dwight. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.